Hi Pisces, welcome to your daily reading. I hope you're doing well. We're going to have a look and see what's going on for you at this time, what you need to know for your highest good. Whenever you come across this reading, that's when it's meant for you. Keep an open mind about the messages. Take what resonates as it resonates with you and your situation. Two of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles. Contemplating an investment, contemplating a change, contemplating being single or independent. Business picking up. More money coming in. Okay. So yeah, take what resonates as it resonates with you. Don't force anything to fit. Always check out any other video on the channel that you feel drawn to. Flip rolls if you have to. Okay, just keep an open mind with these messages. If you can follow the energy thread, you take it where it's going in your life, okay? Put the rolls where they go. I always have to say that in case anyone's new and not quite sure how things work or how I work and how I read. Okay, and thank you all for your wonderful support, for your likes, your shares, your comments. Oh, two of cups. Partnerships. Like-minded individuals. Okay. Yeah, thank you for all your likes, your shares, your comments, and your feedback, for subscribing, for your donations. Everything helps. It helps the channel. It helps the algorithm get these videos out. So if you wouldn't mind, if you haven't done so already, just liking the video. It doesn't cost anything, of course, if you want to, if you're up for it. Obviously, you're not obligated to do anything. But if you felt like you wanted to, that would help a great deal. Um, Seven of Wands, Three of Pentacles. What's going on? Okay. Decision time. Ace of, oh, Jesus Christ. Ace of Cups. Queen of Swords. King of Wands. Seven of Cups. There's, there's some sort of action being taken towards making some sort of offer. Because someone's over the overthinking it. Okay. This is a, it comes from a level of frustration coming from overthinking. And it's like, I just got to do it. I just got to do it. I, I'm done. I'm done thinking about it. I just got to do it. See what happens. So for some of you, that could be your message, your energy, and how you should approach something. Or it's someone coming your way. All right. Let's see. What's Pisces got going on? What does Pisces need to know at the time they watch this video? What does Pisces need to know at the time they watch this video? And if you want more, um, like, short to the point, specifically daily energy and messages, I do that on my other channel, Advice to Think Twice. It's linked below. A lot of you have gone over there as well. I hope you find those readings helpful as well. I find that, you know, combining them gives uh, additional insight. Okay. Pisces. He's the pentacles at the bottom of the deck. All right. So it's all about some sort of new beginning, new offer, new investment, whether you're making it or someone's making it towards you or something you're doing. This could be a new job. This could be new, solid, stable, long-term intention type of relationship. This could be about your money. The Empress. It could be about pregnancy for some of you. Obviously, if you don't doesn't apply don't take it okay um this is something very fertile very uh it's about giving birth to new things new ideas new opportunities creating things if you're the empress male or female like you have been showing up for yourself in your readings there's some sort of new beginning that's going to be presented to you offered to you the challenge is the nine of wands this could be something you've already kind of not all the way turned your back on, but you're you're uh, circumspect about it. You're like, I don't know. You might have put up a boundary with someone. There might have been ultimatums issues issued in the past. Um, there's a level of frustration with it, and it's like, whatever. I don't want to look at it. Um, let's keep going. Yeah, three swords in the foundation. So this could be something that disappointed you. Um, you were very patient with it. You did your part and it was one-sided. Might have felt like unrequited love. It might have felt like rejection. It might have felt like they're not taking me seriously. And you did put up a boundary with the Nine of Wands. Whether that means you gave someone an ultimatum, you made things very clear for them so everyone knows what's up, or 
you just said to yourself, you know what, never mind, I'm just gonna step back, mind my business, I'm gonna invest in things that invest in me, I'm gonna invest in things that are mutual and reciprocal. Okay, 10 of Pentacles in the recent past. If your birthday is on the 22nd of February, happy birthday, Pisces. I'm going to pull you a message at the end. Forgot to say that in the beginning. Um, Ten of Pentacles in the recent past. Some sort of... Oh, I see what this is. Someone was working towards... There was an imbalance of... Um, people weren't on the same page. You wanted to start something and the, the person or the situation wasn't ready. The other person, the other the dynamic, the situation, the environment, whatever it was, they felt like they weren't ready. And I need to save this amount of money before I can talk to Pisces or I need to make this amount of money before I can invest in this with Pisces. Or um, I need to sort out my life, you know, because maybe they were going through some things, get a place for myself, get myself going, getting on track with my money, and then I can talk to Pisces. I don't think this was expressed to you. If it was, it frustrated you because you're like, if I, it's a case of someone feeling, I'm not ready, I'm not ready, I'm not ready. This isn't ready, I'm not ready. And you're like, yes, you are, that's why I'm talking to you. And they, they, were, they didn't see it, they didn't feel it. So, you know, you had no choice. You said, you know what, if you don't see that about yourself, if you don't have that confidence about yourself, then this is about to turn into some sort of codependent thing, and I'm not I'm not up for that. I've done that, been there, done that, got the t-shirt, not doing it again. You need to feel confident. I'm not going to be your source of confidence, right? So you're like, fine, no worries. But what you don't realize is whatever goal this person set for themselves, they've reached it recently, which is why now they're feeling like, yeah, okay, now I have something to offer Pisces. Now I can talk to Pisces. If this is going on in work, business, collaborations of any kind, yeah, you were going for something and they kept telling you, you know, it's not ready, it's not ready, it's not on the market yet, it's not available yet. Um, and you try, you may have even tried to help them along, tell me what I can do to help this along so we can speed up the process. And then you can make it official or you can open it up and I can apply and, you know, what do I need to do? What can we do? And they're like, no, it's not ready. Don't worry about it. It's not ready. And it just felt like they weren't taking you seriously or wasting your time. And you just said, you know what? Never mind then. On the mind, the sun. Whoa. Yeah. Someone, it, if confidence was an issue, it's no longer an issue because someone has clarity. Someone has reached again they've reached some sort of very important milestone either to do with their money to do with wrapping something up completing something ending something um and getting something out of it as well if their money was tied up in a situation for example um and that gives them strength it gives them clarity it gives them the confidence that they were lacking if there this was some sort of third party triangle type of situation and Either you had a conversation, you tried to, you know, what's going on, can we talk about this? Or you just said, you know what, that's the boundary, I can't do anything about it. Um, whatever the boundary was, they kind of, you know, disappointed you or broke your heart or kept what you wanted at a distance from you, that is no longer in place. And that's why this is now being offered to you, presented to you. Question is, do you still want it? So what's going on today? Well, here we go. I hear here they come, Ace of Cups, the Hermit, and the Eight of Cups. This is someone that they might have turned their back on you or turned you away because they needed to figure some stuff out. They needed to do some work. They needed to do some healing. They needed to do some research, some digging. And now Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, they can open up. They can be honest. They can offer you something worthwhile. If you met someone while they were going through some sort of challenging time in their relationship or going through some sort of healing or going through some sort of um, challenging times with family and they were just heartbroken and, and or depressed or I don't know, 
I feel like you try to be there for this person and they may have turned you away, pushed you away. But I see this thing as I need to figure this out on my own, right? So it wasn't disrespectful. It was because they respected you. Like, I don't want to bring you into this. Let me go figure it out for myself, get myself together, and then we can talk. Um, Because that's that's what the hermit tells me with the Eight of Cups. It's like, it's not easy to walk away from this, but I'm going to have to because I don't have anything to offer you. And that's not right and that's not fair. And because you didn't chase, you didn't make a fuss, you didn't kick and scream, you're like, fine, fair enough. Take my hands off it. You do you, boo. I'm carry on then. Um, it allowed the, the thing, the person, the situation to get the answers they needed with the hermit, to get the solutions in place, to, to get themselves together, to do the work. Um, this is a lot of um, heart chakra healing for a lot of you, okay, that either you had to do or this person had to do, to be able, to even be able to open up and be honest. Okay, that's interesting. Let's clarify for Pisces, get more on this. The Empress in the current situation, the wheel, someone's making some sort of a come back around, some sort of a turnaround with the wheel. Um, but they're, they are coming around the situation, the opportunity, the dynamic, whatever this is, it is coming around different than what they were before, what it was before. Okay. So if it was, um, someone offered you an opportunity, right? They talked to you about, Hey, let's collaborate on this. Or do you want this job? Or do you want this promotion? And you're like, yeah, okay, well tell me more about it. And they didn't have more to tell you about it at the time. Or it was a case of, well, we're still working on it. I'll let you know when I have more information. And then they just kind of, it seemed like they just were just kind of stringing you along. Because it's like whenever you asked about it, they got, I don't have any new information. So you thought, so why, why did you even bring it up then? You got frustrated with it. You got disappointed. You let it go. Now they're coming around and like, okay, ask me anything. We've got, everything's in place. Everything's arranged. Everything's official. Whatever questions you got, I can answer them. We're, we're ready to get this going, right? It's that kind of situation. The Nine of Wands in the challenge position, the Fool. I t I'm telling you, it's some sort of new beginning with a lot of potential. Wasn't ready. Either someone wasn't ready to jump into anything. They weren't ready to take a chance. They weren't ready to open up. They weren't ready to start fresh, to start over. Or the situation itself wasn't ready to be kicked off, to be started, to be made public, opened up to the public, made official, to be offered, to be presented. Three swords in the foundation, temperance. It's, it's to do with divine timing, Pisces. It's to do with divine timing. It might have been a case of right thing, wrong time, right person, wrong time. Okay? And I feel like you might have been willing to work through it, but when the situation or the when you encountered resistance basically you said okay never mind where in the past you might have insisted or you might have settled or compromised yourself or sacrificed yourself um this time you encountered you wanted to give you wanted to invest you encountered resistance and you took your hands off it you said okay that's fine and it allowed for things to unfold the way they were supposed to the way they were naturally supposed to develop it gave someone time to heal. It gave someone time to figure things out. It gave someone time to recover. It gave the situation time to come together. Ten of Pentacles in the recent past, the tower. Yeah, there's been some sort of ending that you are you may not be aware of. This person's trying to talk to you about it. So this could be the end of a relationship, the end of a marriage, the end of a contract. Someone moved out unexpectedly. Um, Something was completed, leveled out to where now someone is free. If This could be someone's obligation, financial obligation in, in a situation, whether that's to do with a contract or they're bound to make payments to something or they're bound to keep their word in some sort of sense, okay? They have a debt to pay of some sort, right? So they cannot, that's why they weren't ready to just start something else, to start something fresh. This is 
they've paid off the debt. They've completed that. They've kept their word. They've ended the contract. For some, uh, it's a case of they paid to end the contract early. What's the sun on the mind? The high priestess. Yeah, and now someone's tell you everything that's been going on. Where they've previously uh, been closed off. Now they want to talk about it. Now they want to tell you everything. Really open up. For some of you, this is someone who was uh, bound by contract not to discuss certain things with you. And now they're like, I want to put it all on the table. I want to tell you everything. Ask me anything. I got answers for you. Yeah, because they came out of something where it was, it was very regimented or restricted or binding. Okay, they always had someone watching over their shoulders that looks like a shadow behind him, right? I can't talk about this. I can't tell you what's going on. I can't open up. I'm not allowed. Or, you know, I don't have the information. I, I can't talk about it. I can't open up. I can't do this, right? And now it's a case of let's let's talk. Let's get it all out, all out in the open. Because I'm ready to create something new here. Okay, Ace of Cups, the Hermit, the Eight of Cups. Where is this going to go? Two of Cups, the Emperor in the world, the Emperor and the Empress can finally come together. Do you see this? After distance, actual distance, mental, emotional, communication wise, distance, because there was the recognition. But something, a lot needed to be like arranged and put in place for this to come together. So it was right thing, I'm getting chills, wrong time. Right person, wrong time. Wow. What else for Pisces? The two of wands. Queen of Cups and the Five of Swords. Now you're going to be faced with the decision, Pisces, of do you still want this or not? Because with the Five of Swords, you're not impressed with the situation. You're not impressed with how they handle things. And with the Two of Wands, you might already have been looking elsewhere. You have other uh, different options right now. There was a time when you gave this your sole attention. You got rejected or you encountered resistance or whatever. So you're like, okay, well, I'm just going to open myself up and get myself some options. Now they have options. Here they come. And I don't think it's a tactic. I don't think it's a game. I just think that's how it played out. But to you, it's, it's annoying with the Five of Swords. You know, that's how it feels. It's annoying. Now you want to talk. Now you want to offer me this bloody Ace of Cups, you know. Now when I've already turned my back on this, like, I, don't, I don't know what to tell you. And it's completely up to you. It's your decision. Yeah, look. Judgment. A lot of major arcana. Something you thought was done, dead, dusted. It's trying to be res resurrected. And it's, it's not something where you have had history. It's not that X you can't get rid of. It's not that thing where you have a lot of history. Okay? It's not that repeating cycle and pattern. It's not that. That's not that, this, this reading. Okay? What this is, is something that never got a proper chance, never got off the ground. Okay, you, on a, you went on a date with someone, you saw the potential, and then they just kept, they went quiet, or they ghosted, because I feel like that's what's bothering you. You're saying, why couldn't you just tell me this is what was going on? So at least I know, and I can make my decisions. Why did you make that decision for me? Why, you know what I mean? That's, that's what you're ticked off about. For a lot of you, nine of cups, the six of wands, the six of pentacles. Someone, I'm telling you, someone paid off a debt. Someone got out of a contract. Someone got out of a commitment. They were bound to. They were obligated to. Okay. And now they want to talk to you. Now they want to come your way. Ten of cups, seven of swords, eight of wands. They held back communication for a long time. Okay. Five of wands, the hangman. They were stuck somewhere or things were stuck somewhere something like that and they either they were embarrassed to talk about it 
where it was a case of we don't want to tell Pisces what's going on behind the scenes in this company because they would never want to work here. We're getting rid of those people. Pisces doesn't even need to know that that's what happened. This could, this could have been some sort of shocking, someone got caught doing something really nasty and they had to do a complete revamp and restructure of the company, right? And they're like, let's not talk about this to new recruits because they're, they're not gonna wanna work here. Okay, it's that kind of situation, right? Um, and yeah, for others of you, this is someone who had a lot going on in their life. They were stuck in something, they were bound to something. They were embarrassed. They, they didn't wanna tell you because they were embarrassed. And for others of you, they didn't want to talk about it because they didn't want to drag you into it. But they didn't say that. They didn't say anything. They either just went real quiet or they ghosted somehow. Or you have, when, you, when you were to get, when you were talking and you were engaging with one another, it was great, it was wonderful. And then you wouldn't hear from them for days and you're like, I don't know what's going on. I don't like it though. And again, where before you would have been like, hey, chasing or trying to figure it out or trying to understand or trying to help. Yet now you're like, listen, this is some sort of shady behavior. It's kind of disrespectful. I'm getting reje rejected or I'm getting resistance here, so I'm not gonna push, that's fine. Whatever, if you're trying to give me a hint, I'll take the hint, right? And it allowed this person to sort out what they needed to sort out, to figure out what they needed to figure out to put things in place where they needed to go. And they're coming your way. They wanna talk, they wanna tell you everything. They can tell you everything now. They want to tell you everything now. They might ask you out for a coffee or a drink or a dinner or something, a get together. I feel like it's important to them that they have this conversation face to face. I think that's a th something that, you know, that's respectful in this situation. I'm gonna have a face-to-face -face conversation. I'm not gonna message or text or call about it. Um, or like a video call if there's distance here. But there is tri a trip happening. There's some traveling happening here. Or there's the invitation. If you decide to take it and go and hear them out, or if you decide to go hear them out and then give them a chance, or go hear them out and then say, no, that's up to you. But there's an invitation. Hey, can I see you? I really need to talk to you about something. You have mending and time to go. Because you've turned your, this is something, 45 again, number nine. You're like, listen, you're mostly, you're mostly done. You see there's a, there's a door there that you're headed for, like to be done with the situation. And that's where this is coming in with the mending. 52, seven, truth, clarity, knowledge, wisdom. Can we talk? Can we talk? I need to see you. I need to talk to you about something. I need to be honest with you about something. You have go the distance and time for a nap. You stopped pursuing this. You were really pursuing this at some point in time, Pisces. That's how you'll know. You gave this your full attention. You gave your undivided attention. The Empress, you're like, I'm going to invest in this. I'm ready to invest in this. What are we doing? Let's talk about it. And you got, you got crickets or you got a big burst of you know, enthusiasm, excitement, and engagement, and then crickets. And then with the fox there, you're like, I don't know what's going on, but I'm just gonna slow all the way down because I don't know if I can trust this then because there's something going on behind the scenes. Because you can tell, Pisces, you might've had dreams about the situation. It was just never spoken about, not in clear terms. There was a lot of runarounds. There was, might've been innuendos, there might've been subtle mentions here and there, but every time you tried to talk about it, you did, you got nothing or you got kind of pushed back or you got the default answer or I don't know. And you felt dismissed and you thought, you know what? No. So you just said, nope, not doing it. What else for Pisces when it comes to the situation? why yeah 31 you had a lot of questions about this it was very confusing for you pisces very confusing for you like what the hell can you just say what it is can you just give me something can you just give me a clue give me a hint why is this what what's going on and you got nothing you got nothing or you got pushed back or you got resistance 
or you were given the runaround. Message in a bottle, never ending story. Someone was, something was stuck, someone was stuck trying to figure something out, trying to end something with a never ending story. They want to tell you about it now. They want to tell you about it. They want to talk to you about it. Also, they want to talk to you because they don't want this to be over. I don't know if you put up a boundary with this person or you withdrew your energy. I don't know if that's what happened with the tower to precipitate for them to speed things up. Flexible, 19. Yeah. So you might have, if you pull your energy back from this, it got someone thinking and getting creative in terms of, is there something I can do to move this along? Is there something I can do to get this unstuck? Is there something I can, you know, it got them thinking like, I'm about to lose Pisces. I don't want that. Is there anything I can do to where previously they just felt like, well, there's nothing I can do. It is what it is. serendipity there's some sort of lucky break here with the wheel of fortune as well chaos and conflict number 33 is that tower energy yeah and with the five of swords you're like I don't but someone is now wanting to, to talk to you to explain exchanging gifts to reciprocate and Treasure Island. They might actually give you a gift. If it's flowers or if it's an actual gift of some sort. But they want to explain. They want to break things down. They want to apologize for how they handle things. They want to explain things. They're going to take a chance. They're just going to go for it with the Wheel of Fortune with the Fool. So there's going to be an invitation to a meeting if you want to take it. Fork in the road, you'll have a decision to make. Because this is something with chopped wood you thought was done and dusted and you're clearing it out of your life. And with Yang, it has the opportunity to start fresh, to start over, to start properly. To start and keep going versus start, stop, where I'm not sure if it's starting or not. I don't, you know. Someone wants to tell you why things have been the way they've been, and then you can make up your mind. But that's what I'm saying, Pisces, okay? So let me know how I resonate with the reading, if you do, where this is happening in your life, what the situation is. But there's going to be some sort of unexpected turnaround, unexpected lucky type of break to do with communication, to do with a message, to do with an invitation, to a meeting, to talk to see each other and the advice is you know keep an open mind and you follow your own heart but um yeah you're gonna have to figure out what you want to do here because i do see you're annoyed i do see this has caused you a lot of anxiety conflict inner conflict um you felt disrespected, you felt slighted, you felt dismissed, rejected. And listen, talk about it. This is going to be an honest conversation. So if whoever it is you're talking to is being open and honest with you, reciprocate. Be open and honest with them. Tell them how it made you feel, you know, their behavior, their actions, how they chose to handle things. The fact that they, they didn't tell you anything. The fact that they didn't include you in any way. Tell them how it made you feel. Be open, be vulnerable. Because there, you know, it's all on the table. We know what we're dealing with. We're on the same page. And we can decide where we go from there. But we're on the same page. We're starting from the same page. That's a much better start than, I don't know where you are. I don't know where I am. I don't know what this could be. Do you see what I mean? So, yeah, let me know. Let me know what you're going to do. Let me know how this resonates if it does. So let's see. For Pisces born March. No, not March. We're not in March. February 22nd. 
if it's you, if it's a loved one, happy, happy birthday. Your birthday message is this one that flew out. I am willing to change. Okay. I am willing to release old negative beliefs. They are only thoughts that stand in my way. My new thoughts are positive and fulfilling. This could be a little mantra for yourself. This could be something to consider. This could be advice. But that is your birthday message. All right, Pisces. That is what I have for you today. Let me know. Let me know. Okay. Um, I'm going to leave it there. Hope this helps. I really do. Um, and I'm looking forward to your thoughts as always. And again, thank you in advance for liking the video, for leaving me a comment, even if it's just to say hi, even if you just put up an emoji or something. I love interacting with you. That's number one. And number two, it also helps the algorithm. So just leaving that there, okay? Just putting it out there. Um, but yeah, I hope this helps you. Have a wonderful day. Looking forward to your feedback. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.